A disabled passenger is tonight hailing what he claims is an important victory in his legal battle over wheelchair access on buses. The Supreme Court stopped short of requiring bus companies to enforce priority for wheelchair users in designated spaces. But campaigner Doug Pawley said today's partial victory was still a significant cultural change. Rebecca Barry was in court. A typical morning for a disabled person trying to get on a bus. She can't because the wheelchair space is taken up by a buggy. Eventually, the buggy is folded away and the tearful woman can get on with her journey. All this happened just over the road from the Supreme Court, just after it had made a landmark ruling on the rights of wheelchair users. When something similar happened to Doug Pooley, he took the bus company to court. Yes. And after a five-year legal battle this morning, the highest court in the land ruled that bus companies must do more to help wheelchair users. This is a major day for the rights of disabled people. Catching the bus is a fundamental thing that most people expect to be able to do. The ruling means it's not enough for the driver to simply request that someone make space for a wheelchair user. Instead, they must consider taking further steps to pressurise someone to move. How would you yeah. feel if the bus driver said, no, you have to take your baby out, fold the buggy up and make space for the wheelchair? It's my baby, I don't want to wake him up and make him upset and make him cry. A disabled person has got priority. Even yeah. if your baby was fast asleep? Uh, I think so. What do we want? Access. Access. But it's still not a legal requirement for a passenger Access. to move for a wheelchair user. The driver has to require somebody to move away. That is really tough, particularly because the driver has no legal redress behind him. So he can do nothing if that passenger still refuses to move. Get on the bus, then. Campaigners say it's a victory for the UK's 1.2 million wheelchair users and say they'll be pressing the government to update the law in light of today's ruling. Rebecca Barry, ITV News.